Pentagon prepares to send artillery and air defense equipment to Ukraine. The United States is preparing to quickly approve a new military aid package for Ukraine, as Congress will soon approve a law to support Ukraine, according to Politico. The agency writes that it is artillery and air defense equipment. Other sources indicate that the administration of President Joe Biden has not yet made a final decision on how large the tranche of military aid will be and what it will contain. But Defense Department officials are working on putting together a package of U.S. equipment that can move quickly through the bureaucratic process once the legislation passes and is signed by the president, writes Politico. The material states that some of the U.S. weapons are already positioned in warehouses across Europe and can be immediately transported to Ukraine. Some equipment could reach Ukraine in days, while others may take weeks. Pentagon spokesman Patrick Ryder refused to go into details about what the future aid package will include. But according to him, the United States has a very reliable logistical network that allows it to move material assets very quickly. It can be a matter of days. Earlier, Assistant Secretary of the Pentagon for International Security Affairs, Celeste Wallander, told lawmakers that the Pentagon would begin to rapidly send ammunition, artillery shells and air defense equipment as soon as Congress approves aid to Ukraine. The U.S. Congress has been unable to approve a new aid package for Ukraine since last fall due to disagreements among some members of the Republican Party. As a result, Ukraine began to experience a shortage of weapons which led, among other things, to the retreat of the Ukrainian armed forces from Avdiivka in the Donetsk region. Recently, however, U.S. House Speaker Mike Johnson put forward his initiative to help Ukraine, which currently has a good chance of being approved. Today, the House of Representatives has begun consideration of the bills initiated by Johnson. U.S. Speaker Johnson wants to compel Biden to provide ATA CMS to Ukraine. Speaker of the House of Representatives Mike Johnson proposes that Congress compel President Joe Biden to provide ATA CMS to Ukraine. However, the transfer may be delayed according to the corresponding bill. The document proposes that President Biden should be obliged to transfer long-range ATA CMS to Ukraine as soon as is practicable. This will help Ukraine defend itself and achieve victory against Russia. However, as the bill specifies, if the president determines the transfer would be detrimental to the national security interests of the United States, the president may withhold such transfer. In this case, Biden will be obliged to notify the Congressional Defense Committees, the Committees on Appropriations and Foreign Relations of the Senate, and the Committees on Appropriations and Foreign Affairs of the House of Representatives of such determination. Last year, Ukraine requested the transfer of long-range ATA CMS missiles from the United States, which are capable of destroying targets at a distance of up to 300 kilometers. Ukrainian soldiers can launch them using HIMARS multiple launch rocket systems. Last October, the Ukrainian armed forces launched a missile attack on the airfields in Berdyansk and Luhansk. Russians said that ATA CMS missiles were used. Later, the White House confirmed the transfer of such weapons to Ukraine, but with a range of up to 165 kilometers. However, American media reported that such missiles were transferred in small quantities. After this, the question of transferring ATA CMS at a range of 300 kilometers remained relevant. Top U.S. General Charles Brown recently stated that possible transfer is not as risky as it was before. A U.S. General stated that Russia's restrained response to a series of recent attacks by Ukrainian drones deep into Russian territory allowed the Pentagon to adjust its risk analysis for sending ATA CMS. The situation is dire in Ukraine. Ammunition shortages are critically disrupting operations. Ukraine's insufficient supply of ammunition means its soldiers can't hit the targets they want with even their most effective weapons, a U.S. veteran now fighting in Ukraine told Business Insider. Such weapons include the U.S.-made high-mobility artillery rocket systems, with soldiers unable to use it to hit the same targets that they could earlier in the war when they had more munitions available. The veteran Jonathan Pocket told Business Insider. He said his unit had good support from HIMARS, a long-range, high-precision rocket launcher that can hit targets 50 miles away, but its effectiveness was degraded as rockets ran low. Pocket is a sniper with chosen company, part of Ukraine's 59th motorized brigade. 
Chosen Company is made up of international soldiers now fighting for Ukraine, and while it's technically a reconnaissance unit, it also does frontline assault operations and defensive work. He said that when he was not on missions, he would look at satellite imagery on computers, looking for targets, looking for batteries, artillery batteries that needed to get hit, looking for convoys, possible supply points of the Russians. He would then bring those targets to the Ukrainian HIMARS operator, who would then start the military's verification process to confirm the target and see if it was worth a hit. The next step would be to send off a rocket and boom, boom, target eliminated. Done. That was earlier in the conflict, though. The supply of rockets began to dry up in October when Russia launched a new offensive in Ukraine's eastern Donetsk region and when Republicans in Congress started stalling billions of U.S. aid. As the supply situation at the front worsened, Hoquet was often told, we're not really interested in those type of targets right now, when he would present potential strike options. That shift, he explained, was because we're running out of rockets. The unit started getting more and more selective with their targets, he explained. For example, they stopped trying to hit Russian training areas. They were once a good target, as that's where you generally have a collection of troops. And so, for one missile that impacts, you might take out 30 guys. So at that point, it's really efficient. Ukraine is running critically low on supplies, including ammunition for artillery and air defenses. Many experts and Western officials have said that the situation is dire for Ukraine and that it could lose the war to Russia if it does not receive sufficient support.